Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on cultural studies. And in this video, we are going to discuss the term accent. Introduction. Narratology, the study of narrative structures, has evolved significantly over the years, incorporating various theoretical frameworks to analyze and understand stories. One of the most influential contributions to this field is the concept of accent. introduced by the french semiotician algirdas julian garimus in 1966 garimus's accentual model posits that every narrative can be broken down into six accents which are grouped into three binary oppositions these pairs epitomize fundamental narrative elements subject object refers to desire sender receiver to communication and helper opponent to secondary assistance or interference this video delves into the intricacies of the accentual model exploring its components significance and applications in narratology the accentual model the accentual model is a structural tool used to dissect and analyze narratives Garimas proposed that all narratives regardless of their cultural or historical context share a common deep structure composed of six accents these accents are organized into three binary oppositions subject object this pair represents the axis of desire the subject is the protagonist or the central character who seeks to achieve a goal represented by the object The dynamic between the subject and the object drives the narrative forward creating a pursuit that forms the core of the story. Sender receiver. This opposition relates to communication. The sender is the entity that initiates the quest or sets the narrative in motion often by bestowing a mission or a goal upon the subject. The receiver is the intended beneficiary of the subject's actions, the one who stands to gain from the fulfillment of the quest. Helper opponent. This pair pertains to the axis of assistance and interference. The helper aids the subject in achieving the object, providing support and resources necessary for the quest. Conversely, the opponent seeks to thwart the subject's efforts. presenting obstacles and challenges that must be overcome these six accents are not to be confused with characters per se rather they are functional roles that characters or entities within the narrative can assume a single character can embody multiple accents and accents can be distributed among various characters or entities in different ways subject object the axis of desire At the heart of any narrative lies the axis of desire encapsulated by the subject and the object the subject is the driving force of the story the character or entity with a goal to achieve this goal or object is what the subject desires and the pursuit of this object propels the narrative forward in traditional fairy tales for example the subject is often a hero or heroine seeking to rescue a princess the object from a dragon or evil sorcerer in detective stories the subject is the detective and the object is the solution to the mystery or the apprehension of the criminal the subject object relationship creates a dynamic of pursuit and fulfillment with the subject striving to attain the object despite various obstacles The interaction between the subject and the object is central to the narrative's progression. The subject's quest for the object typically involves a series of actions and events that form the plot. This pursuit is not always straightforward. It often involves twists, turns, and challenges that test the subject's resolve and capabilities. The success or failure of the subject in attaining the object determines the narrative's resolution. Sender receiver, the axis of communication. The sender and receiver form 
the axis of communication within the narrative. The sender is the initiator of the quest, the one who imparts the goal or mission to the subject. This act of sending sets the narrative in motion, providing the subject with a purpose and direction. In many narratives, the sender is a figure of authority or wisdom, such as a king who sends a knight on a quest or a mentor who provides the hero with a mission. The receiver, on the other hand, is the entity that benefits from the subject's actions. The receiver can be the same as the subject, but often it is a separate entity such as a community, a loved one, or even a divine power. For instance, in the myth of Prometheus, Zeus, the sender, commands Prometheus, the subject, to create mankind. Humanity, the receiver, is the beneficiary of Prometheus's actions, gaining life and subsequently the gift of fire. The sender-receiver dynamic establishes the communicative framework of the narrative, linking the subject's quest to a broader context of purpose and reward. Helper-Opponent The axis of assistance and interference The helper and opponent constitute the axis of assistance and interference, representing forces that either aid or hinder the subject in achieving the object. The helper provides support, resources and guidance that facilitate the subject's quest. This support can come in various forms such as physical assistance, magical tools or moral encouragement. In contrast, the opponent seeks to obstruct the subject's progress, creating conflict and challenges that must be overcome. The opponent can be an antagonist, a rival, or any force that opposes the subject's goals. The presence of the opponent introduces tension and conflict into the narrative, making the subject's quest more complex and engaging. In J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, Frodo Baggins, the subject, is aided by numerous helpers, including Samwise Gamgee, Gandalf, and the Fellowship of the Ring. These helpers provide physical protection, guidance, and emotional support. Conversely, the opponents such as Sauron and his minions constantly threaten Frodo's quest to destroy the One Ring, the object. The interplay between helpers and opponents creates a rich tapestry of conflict and cooperation that drives the narrative forward. The Actential Mode in Practice the actential mode's versatility makes it applicable to a wide range of narratives from classical myths to modern literature and beyond. By identifying and analyzing the six actants and their interactions, narratologists can uncover the underlying structures that shape stories. For instance, in Homer's The Odyssey, Odysseus is the subject striving to return home to Ithaca, the object. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, acts as a helper, guiding and protecting Odysseus. Poseidon, the god of the sea, serves as the opponent, creating storms and obstacles to impede Odysseus's journey. Zeus, who decrees Odysseus's eventual return, can be seen as the sender, while Penelope and Telemachus, waiting in Ithaca, are the receivers who stand to benefit from Odysseus's successful return. Similarly, in a contemporary detective story like Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes, Holmes is the subject seeking to solve a mystery, the object. Dr. Watson often functions as a helper, providing assistance and companionship. The criminals or antagonists act as opponents, creating obstacles and challenges for Holmes. The sender can be a client or authority figure who brings the case to Holmes's attention and the receiver is typically the victim or society at large which benefits from the resolution of the case. The Significance of the Extensional Model The Extensional Model's significance lies in its ability to provide a systematic framework for analyzing narratives. By reducing complex stories to a set of fundamental roles, 
and relationships, the model allows for a clear understanding of the narrative's structure and dynamics. This structural approach facilitates comparative analysis across different narratives, revealing common patterns and variations. Moreover, the attention model highlights the functional roles that characters or entities play within the narrative. This focus on function rather than identity enables a more nuanced analysis of character relationships and their contributions to the narrative. It also allows for the exploration of how different narratives distribute and configure these roles, offering insights into the diversity of storytelling practices. The model's emphasis on binary oppositions reflects a broader structuralist approach to understanding human culture and communication. By identifying the fundamental oppositions that underpin narratives, the attention model aligns with the structuralist belief that meaning arises from the interplay of differences. This approach resonates with other structuralist theories such as those of Claude Levi-Strauss in anthropology and Ferdinand de Saussure in linguistics. Applications and Extensions of Attentional Model The attentional model has been widely applied in literary studies, film analysis, folklore and other fields of narratology. Its versatility and simplicity makes it a valuable tool for dissecting and comparing narratives across different genres and media. In literary studies, the model has been used to analyze the structural components of novels, short stories and plays. By identifying the actants and their interactions, scholars can uncover the underlying patterns that shape the narrative and explore how these patterns contribute to themes, character development, and plot progression. In film analysis, the attentional model helps in understanding the roles and relationships of characters within the cinematic narrative. By mapping out the subject, object, sender, receiver, helper, and opponent, analysts can gain insights into the film's structure, conflicts, and resolutions. This approach is particularly useful in studying genres with well-defined narrative conventions such as action films, thrillers, and fantasy epics. Folklore and myth studies also benefit from the attention model. Many traditional tales and myths share common narrative structures that can be illuminated through the model. By applying the attentional framework, researchers can compare myths from different cultures, identifying shared motives, and exploring variations in narrative patterns. Beyond its original scope, the attentional model has been extended and adapted to other fields. For instance, in marketing and advertising, the model has been used to analyze brand narratives and consumer relationships. Brands can be seen as subjects seeking to achieve objectives, for example, market dominance, consumer loyalty, with consumers as receivers and various market forces as helpers or opponents. This application of the attentional model provides a structured way to understand brand storytelling and consumer engagement. Conclusion the attention model proposed by Algidas Julian Garimas represents a fundamental contribution to narratology. By identifying six actants organized into three binary oppositions, the model provides a systematic framework for analyzing and understanding the deep structure of narratives. The subject object, sender receiver, and helper opponent pairs epitomize fundamental narrative elements, offering insights into the dynamics of desire, communication, and assistance within stories. The model's significance lies in its ability to simplify complex narratives into functional roles and relationships, facilitating comparative analysis and revealing underlying patterns. Its applications extend across literary studies film analysis, folklore, and beyond. 
demonstrating its versatility and utility in various fields as a tool for uncovering the structural foundations of narratives the attention model continues to be an essential instrument in the study of storytelling and human communication so this was the analysis of the term actent we will meet in the next video and discuss some other concept until then goodbye and thank you